What up, world? Welcome back to another episode, yes, of Skinny's Row, baby. We're on our way to Navarra Motorsports. You guys remember, a couple vlogs back, actually it was the reveal video of the livery for the Huracan, yes. Thank you guys for all the love and support. You guys really like the little livery I put on this car. I love it, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it too. But remember the R8, the gold wrap, satin gold, whatever you want to call it, the R8, the twin turbo one that Eric at Voodoo Design that he made. I told you, we're going to go back. We're going to check that car out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. of the pace a little bit we are on our way to go check out that car and do a full actual reveal the build and what he's done to that car and get a ride in it and really get a feel for like what he's developed man i give him a lot of props he's developed this car and this platform from the ground up starting with someone else's huracan and now financially just investing in himself buying an r8 breaking it down and really developing his platform for his own car and now it's accessible for anyone else who has a V10 Huracan or R8 platform. Check it out, I'm super excited. And I'm just thinking like, did I make a mistake? Did I sell the R8 too soon? Should I have kept it and done a twin turbo kit? I don't know, man. This Huracan has always been my dream. It's always been a dream to have a Lamborghini, specifically this Huracan. And I didn't want to miss out on that opportunity to get it. And I felt like I had a window to trade in the R8 and get this car. It was like right time, right car, the right space to do it. But man, do I regret? Did I make a mistake? Do you guys think I made a mistake? I don't think I did, but let's go for riding this car. And you never know, maybe down the road, because R8s are dropping in price a little bit. They're gonna hit a, a bottom peak where they're gonna be fairly uh, not too expensive to have a second car in the next couple years. And I could do this. I could do a twin turbo R8 and still have a naturally aspirated V10 as well. So Navarro Motorsports, let's see if I made a mistake and let's get it right, baby. Let's get it. We have made it. And once again, you see gold on the Aston. Like I said, Eric is really investing in himself. He got an Aston that he's developing exhaust, aero, the whole bit on this car. And he's, the gold theme is, that's his thing. You can see it right now, he's got gold rims with the tint. That's sick. I think that's Omni Tints. That's my boy, Ryan Edge, that's his tent company. If you guys need any tents, hit him up. He'll set you up right. Omni Tints, you can find him on Instagram and get yourself some window tint. That's a cold start right there. Makes you miss my car, holy crap. One thing I love about the R8s, they're really exotic, but subtle looking. Like, look at this thing. It's just the way it fits. Wide stance in the back. Oh man. I love the back end of this car, I really do. One thing I really miss about it. Thing is out of control, crazy. Yes, that front lift. <laughs> that is such a flex. Dude, a front lift on an R8. You have no idea how much of a flex that is. That's awesome. All right, here we go. We're doing this a little backwards. Normally we do a review of the car and what he's built. First, we're going on a drive. I'm not gonna make you guys wait. We're gonna hit a drive on the Twin Turbo R8. I am so excited. This wing is just, holy crap. All right. Did I make a mistake? Let's see. Dude, I forgot you have the racing seats in here. Yeah, man. I, Holy I mean, you're crap. What? You're what, 6'3"? Six, 6'3", three? Six, three, yeah. Hey, you may be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no helmet on. Dude, hips don't lie. Hips so, are good. I, I kept the factory seatbelts functional, so I you don't have that. to put the Dude, six there we see. On. Yeah, he thought of everything in this car. The stars in the roof, like myself, I love it. every race car with a cage needs stars in the <laughs> Front lift is up. I kept telling the audience how much of a flex the front lift on the R8 is. I couldn't believe that the, like, I looked everywhere for one with, with front lift. They, I was like, how the f It's the same Dude, car. How do you I not know. operate? I know. It's crazy. They made the Huracan and they just didn't put one on here. It's I crazy. Tell you how much Lamborghini wanted for all the parts, right? No. Almost seven grand. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 
Oh, so you're trying to put a factory R8 I was trying to put the, the factory Urticon, you know, set up that, you know, changing the shock, changing the wiring, changing yeah. the, the, the air cup and everything else. And then finally I was like, on my own. Wow. Seven grand. That's nuts. Yeah, on the way up here, I was telling everyone how, like, I'm excited and free. Like, you invested in yourself on this freaking project, oh. which is sick. <laughs> like, you bought, then, like, you bought your own car, mm. tore it all down, developed your own system, like, from oh, scratch. Man, you, you, you know shop owners, man. Shop yeah. owners would be like, hey, you do one, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. <laughs> and then they go back and they f go take a lunch with clients. Where, <laughs> nah, bro, let, like, I took this thing apart myself, built yeah. it myself, engineered every product myself. The yeah. only thing I didn't do on the car myself was the ceiling okay. uh, and the wrap, because, like, me and stickers do not get along. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I would have burned this car to the ground, dude, if I had to wrap it. So we have what? We have, is it eight or nine, 900 horsepower? No, it's just 800 wheel. 800 wheel? That's wheel? It. It. So it's about a, like a, about a thousand cranes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot though. It really when is. When it comes to twin turbo Uricon and RE platforms, it's not. And that's the beauty of this platform is that at seven and a half pounds of boost, yes. we can make 800 wheel. That's great. Safely, all day long on stock gearbox, stock internals. And right now it feels completely stock. Literally. That, that was my Literally. point. I wanted to show people that these cars can be daily driven. They yeah. have, will have perfectly stock drivability as long as you don't overdo it. Yes. And that's why I'm saying why I think that's still a lot because if when you go 1500, like you can't really use that on the street well, safely. I mean, it's it, hard. It depends on who's driving. But <laughs> don't say that. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the thing is though, dude, is with, with, look, with 20 years of track experience, man, yeah. like the one thing you know is that even tracks can be unpredictable. True, true. So yep. streets, on the other hand, you've got, you know, you could have debris. I mean, one, yep. is streets in California are Yeah. So you've got, you know, an idiot in a messed up Honda. I mean, like, you never know who's going to pull out. You never exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, 100%. Oh, do you hear it? I like the screen meme. Turbo sound better though. Turbo sound. They do sound better. Dude, it sounds so good. Dang. Wow. You manage to keep exhaust sound too. Because normally you hear all turbo. I hear a lot of these twin turbo kits and the R8s and the Lamborghinis. You actually kept some of the exhaust sound, which is sick. Yeah, I, well, I mean. Was that just how you developed and, everything? At the end of the day, we, you know, we are an exhaust manufacturer. So <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure like the sound had to be critical. Yeah. And, but at the same time, we did partner with Zona Rotor and Tile, okay. which are you know, obviously two, two more US manufacturers, yeah. nothing out of China, super high quality product, tried and true, tested by everybody in the brother. Nice. Um, and Zona does build, in my opinion, I mean, the, the best turbos out there. Nice. So they're oil cooled and they're water cooled. So you maintain OEM reliability oh, wow. and you don't have to run turbo timers. None of that turbos operate colder. Wow. And they're also the only turbo company in the world using a full stainless uh, center hazard rotating system. Did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Okay, power band. It keeps going. Oh yeah, I mean that's shifting a seven grand. It, it, so, it, yeah. it, like, like I said, it's such oh. a great daily. It's everything the R8 and Uricon needed. That's crazy. Because they just, by today's standards, every other car on the road with nothing but a tune will smoke them. Yeah, it's very true. All the hell kitties all the time line up all the time. Oh, well, it's so damn heavy. But at the end of the day, all we do, <laughs> all we do is open the passenger door and the girlfriends get in. You know? <laughs> That last one before you stop, it made my stomach drop. I'm not even over exaggerating. It made my stomach drop. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do a couple Holy like shit. literally like red line pulls in this. I mean, it's, you weren't even close to red line either. Nah, shifting to seven grand. Literally, like I. And that's that's not front. That's not launch control. That's nothing. That's the that's the best wow. part about these cars is they all will drive. Wow. You don't even need launch control. Like why risk snapping wow. axles? And wow. Then, but, like if you're doing like a 60 to 130 pull against somebody on the freeway. Downshift to second, you're done. That last minute stomach drop is when you get scared. That's the fun part. It's like, yeah, do it again. And, and again, <laughs> this is, we're doing what, 20 to 100, 20 to 100. Yeah. It's not dangerous. It's seven yeah. lanes wide, but. It's just the um, feeling of it though. Like the power band yeah. torque in this car is crazy. It's, it keeps going and going and going. There's no like stop or dip. That's nuts. Yeah, and we have the wheel torque on this capped at 625. Like it wow. will not make over because if the minute you start trying to stress that, then you're going to get clutches, second yeah. gear, shift yeah. force, cluster packs. Yeah. 
yeah. all this other nonsense. Yeah. You know, yeah. Axle stubs, axles, like, that's and then you you got 60 grand in a gearbox. That's what I love the fact you made this where it's like, you can keep your stock like transmission, stock clutch, and throw this kit in here and you're ready to go. And run 91 octane sh California and run gas. and run the crappy California gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And still get 800 wheel. That's amazing. Though. Wow. This guy's thing is so freaking smooth. You have no idea. I'm like that sound. Woo! <laughs> Dude, this is so hard. Oh man, it should have kept you already. Oh damn. Dude, you did the same thing with Erica. I know. I know. About? I know. It's I know. The same car. I know. I know. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, underground yeah we're going head to head against vf so <laughs> head to head against... it takes a hundred horsepower and a hundred foot pounds of torque just to run the blower yeah that's why the turbos make so much more because it's driven it's driven off of exhaust gas okay so it's free horsepower you're not forcing the engine to make power you're just allowing the exhaust gas to spin something have something driving off the crankshaft is called parasitic loss so you're losing all that torque and horsepower that could be made just to drive the blower so the blowers, the TBS gear cases, heat soak really bad. Okay. So by the third or fourth pull, the every one that we've ever put on the dyno is down 100 horsepower. Wow. So your first pull feels pretty good. Second pull, a little less. Third pull, a little less. Fourth gear, fourth pull, you're at stock power. Gotcha. They just heat soak so bad. But the turbos don't. Gotcha. If they're done right. Makes sense. If they're done right. <laughs> That's the key point. For like what? I would want, a lot of my friends want, this will be like, we like that it's stock drivability, and it's just smooth. But then we want to get crazy, you get crazy. I mean, and again, the turbo so kits sick. can make 1,400, 1,500 wheel, you can make 900, 1,000 foot pounds of torque, yeah. you can do all the other nonsense, Yeah. but, you know, it's, uh, he with the most money wins these days, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, true. like, yeah, you, you can't beat the almighty cubic dollar. <laughs> it's 100%. <laughs> all right. All right, let's switch. Are you going to let me try it? Dude, no, come on, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, I would not ask. Once again, I would not ask for this. You trust me with your baby, okay. and I will take care of it. so freaking smooth like I can't stop saying how normal driving mode techniques it stock with a way better sound well yeah and then we wanted to show people you could get good gas mileage but not, not, not doing this not doing this <laughs> great we did take it on on E but dude like it's normal driving Funny, dial back the last video we did. We stopped by. You still shot flames and you revved it. That's dial back. Really? Yeah, you got two two flames. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've driven a 
couple twin turbo kits. I'm not gonna throw shade at folks, but I'm not even just saying this because you're in the car. This is by far the smoothest and reliable feeling twin turbo kit I've ever and, and, and Literally. Well, thank you. Also, and, but I will say, I am not competing against oh, I, oh, Tony I, or the I, shit. I got you. I got you. You guys are awesome. Yes. But I haven't driven any of those. This is out our there. street kit. Yeah, I have not driven any underground kits. I've driven a few others. This is like, man, drivability is crazy. I had the opportunity to do a drive with a butt with uh, 40 R8 owners. Okay. Um, and even they were all, I mean, honestly, the wing, everybody was like, ah, oh, it's a little too aggressive for me. And I was like, <laughs> all right, well, I mean, I get it. You guys are a little older, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, and the turbo's like, oh, nice, because like, a couple of them had VF kits. Yeah. The number one thing they tripped on wasn't the cage, wasn't the seats, wasn't the starlight, wasn't the wrap, wasn't the wing, wasn't the turbos, front lift. Really? They all lost their mind. I'm front telling you, I, like, I, used to complain, I used to complain about that all the time on the R8. Yeah, I, I hate it scraping. Out of, all, yeah, out of all the parts I designed for this car, I did not think that was going to be the best. Hilarious. And honestly, it goes up and down really fast. Way faster than the Huracan. Way faster. Great owners, man. We are a different breed. I said this myself an R8 owner. We are a different breed. I was going to say the R8 is the executive man's Huracan. Yeah, it's true. Without, without, without the douchebag connotation. It's so true, though. So, yeah, <laughs> God, I loved it. Yeah. This, this, this is a little more low key. Yeah, it's I'm, so true. Okay, well, okay, this is a gold R8. Go it's, it's not low key anymore, but it was. It's okay. I had peak wheels on mine, so you're fine. Yeah, true. <laughs> but before I did that, though, to agree with you, yes, I can drive my car to work. No one, oh man, awesome car. Did you ever land beginning to work? You're the biggest douchebag ever. Even if you're not a douchebag. Like, you're but, just but a douchebag. You're calling a douchebag, yeah. So I guess I'm, yeah, I'm a douchebag. They expect you to get out with your collar pop and so gold true. chain with the hairy patch. Like, it's so with the hairy patch. Oh, that's so funny. It's so freaking true, like man. Like the pork pork pork. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little heavier than the 720 Yeah. but it does have all-wheel drive, even though yeah. McLaren is you know, mad science. But before I'm gonna cut you off there, that's why this one is more fun to me because, yeah, that car scared the shit out of me, all those. Because even with TC on, it breaks. I like the fact that the all-wheel drive platform that's, does not break as easy. Yeah, well, it, but that's the, that, what I like about it is this will keep up with a tuned 720, which is on, on this level, and a tuned 765, because they okay. make, they make Almost equivalent power minus yeah. the gearing, but yeah, they um, that's all I really wanted out of this. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah, I mean, the, the 765 can kill you. Yeah, it, so. it yeah, I, I felt that. Yeah. Granted, it was exciting, but at the same time, like, nah, my wife wouldn't like that. <laughs> she wouldn't die, she wouldn't want to die if I was driving. It's like, it's like trying to have the conversation with a significant other about getting a sport bike. They're yes, like, mm, oh, 100%. No. Yeah, I, I went down that path for a few years, good 10 years. Yep, <laughs> you see where I'm at now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, old R8 problems, no longer old R8 problems. Front lift. You see that button right there? Push that. Oh my gosh. That's such a pleasant. <laughs> All right, you want to put it back down? And look how fast this goes down there. Well, you probably can't feel it, but I can. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's like airbags. Holy sh Without riding on air. Yeah. Holy yeah. crap. Give it to me. You guys see it. I'm gonna coin it right now. The craziest R8 in California. That's just me, I'm saying it. I am. All because, besides the wrap, is ridiculous in a good way. The rims, the wing is out of control. Ryan and I are gonna twin on the wings, on the Huracons, it's gonna happen. I don't even know where to start in this car. Like, let's start in the interior before we go exterior, just because, let's start off with the race seats. I know you mentioned last video that everyone said you couldn't put a suede race seat. And Explain the, that well, to the, me. The QRTR, so it's uh, obviously I've worked with Sparco for years. Okay. Um, they have sponsored race cars I built since 2005. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, but I mean, it, it is an FIA certified race seat. It's the real thing. It's not some off brand. Um, and everybody cheaps out on safety. You more than want to build a thousand horsepower car, Woo. and nobody wants to do anything legit or they'll put it in. Which sounds crazy yeah. to me, but they do though, which is crazy, but 
That's funny you pointed that out. Yeah. So we ended up um, custom modifying our own floor mounts, our own side mounts, wow. uh, to get the seats to sit low enough in yes. there to fit guys that are you know over over six foot. Yeah. What you guys saw, um, I fit in there. Yeah. It fit like and honestly, it fit like a stock R8. As far I, as headroom, it fit honestly. It did no. My R8 fit the same way because you're not leaning back like my R8. I had to put the seats all the way up. Lean it all the way as far as back as go for me to fit like comfortably headroom wise. And then I, I mean, I didn't want to lose the luxury feel of it, so yes. that's why uh, Sparco uh, finally started releasing some of the higher end materials. So this yeah. is real leather, real Alcantara, uh, and then we incorporated six point harnesses, made our own mounts, worked with uh, Titan Motorsports to do the base cage, and okay. then we added in uh, our own X brace. So you can't put an X brace in with the factory seats because they sit too far back; they're too thick. Yeah. But with race seats, I had all the room, so I added the driver rollover bar, passenger rollover bar. Plus, it, I like the symmetry of the X. Wow. Um, so that's why it's got the full X brace in it. That's sick. You guys see that right there? Wow. And that behind there is what he's talking about. Kind of kind of get the whole theme of the X and the gold X here and the yeah. gold X inside. Jeez, so, yeah, Tastefully uh, done, man. I'm telling you, when you, when you, when you hear it, not seeing it gold R8, you're like, oh my God, it's going to be crazy. But it sits and feels and looks great. Like, it's not way overdone or it's like out of control. I love the sad look. Satin matches the inside and obviously the x brace with that. The satin oh. gold was just a choice to kind of be an opposite of the satin black on uh, yeah. McLaren. So yeah. we wanted to kind of flip flop the colors. Yep. So it worked oh. And let's get the other good. So Brixton Forge wheels, obviously. This is the new FEO1 super lightweight three piece. Uh, and then just to kind of incorporate our own flair to it, we did all the hardware in 24 gear gold. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I love, I love uh, it. When I had the option, I used to be red and black. Yeah. And then when I had the option of kind of doing a little bit of a rebrand, it's it just it just exudes wealth and exceptionalism, and yeah. it's, it's everything that people strive for. So you know, I love it. I love. Okay, then we got 1016 Arrow, which what I did, which I love. Can't go wrong with 1016. Looks sick. And the front splitter, which is what I love, you did. Then you added your own extra on the bottom. Yeah. So amazing. Everybody puts big wings on the car. Everybody yes. forgets to put arrow on the front. So you have to balance your arrow. <laughs> So, so otherwise you have all this downforce and then the front end lifts and now you're getting all this air under the car and yeah. it flows it off. The whole front end gets real floaty. Yeah. So, uh, you know, having had the opportunity to work with some of the best aerodynamicists in the world uh, through, you know, two decades of racing, it, it's one of those you have to balance the car. Yeah, so, 100%. Yeah. Let's take a look at it because this is why I wanted. I never got to do it, but I wanted to do it on mine. I love that. So you have the 1016 front splitter here, then you added the extra here, for hours that extra downforce talking about. It, look, it looks so good. Besides it's functional and it does what yeah. it's supposed to do. So this is, it looks so, so freaking good. APR gave us an eight foot long sheet of honeycomb reinforced carbon yeah. um, and said, uh, good luck. And so <laughs> um, we did that. Good luck. These little mounts actually go through the grill and actually bolt into the front frame. So it oh, is a wow. frame mounted support look rod, at that. not just a grill. You guys saw in the other video where he stood on top of it, because it is actually, Chassis reinforced, like oh, yeah. it's not the fake deal, guys. He stood on this thing. So this is, yeah, this both is half feet inch on both sides. Yeah. Both sides. <laughs> is that what now? This is half inch thick, seventy seventy five billet. Yeah. So they're they're not they're not going anywhere. nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. Yeah. So Ryan and I, we are right talking to Eric, and we're, we're doing this on the Huracans. We're gonna twin, and it's, I'm excited. That's gonna look so crazy. We just gotta figure out how. Yep. Ryan will be the test dummy. <laughs> and I'll come, I'll I'll come him, right I'll after. Let him cut up, you'll let him cut up his car. Yeah, he can cut up his car. So side blades are mine, okay. uprights are mine. Then okay. we call uh, APR, give them the dimensions of where we need the spacing, what's Perfect. the offset, and then they they take, they basically assemble and ship us this part okay. um, to our specs. And then we do our own end caps uh, and our own uprights and supply the whole hardware kit. Now you added this extra piece in the back because normally the APR wings don't come with this. Can so you explain why? This is the new GT1000. Okay. So they they have now a new dual element. They even have a tri-element wing. Um, but with the popularity of the uh, new GT3 RS, yes. and I have the GTC500 wing. I've, I've had it on plenty of my cars. I have it on the McLaren. Um, again with a custom frame mount. Yeah. But it was one of those things where how do you one up what was already done with the McLaren? Yes. So when they came out with the dual element wing and I saw the popularity of the swan mount, I was like, I called them, I was like, I want the wing and I want it swan mount. And they're like, okay, we can do it, but how are you gonna make it work? I said, well, let me worry about that. Yeah. You, you guys should make the best wings in the world. <laughs> I want your arrow, let's make it happen. Nice. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so we got the dual element so we can change the wick on the on the secondary wing up to, awesome. up to multiple different positions, set the position on this. It's Gosh. I mean it's just it's eight way adjustable if we really That's want awesome. to. So we can this is fairly neutral setting right now, yeah. um, just because mostly street driving, seeing a couple of freeway pulls, a bunch of 60 to 130 kind of thing. Yeah. You don't need a bunch of down for us, but this is all I mean this can do up to 1,200 pounds. See, here's what I love about Eric, guys. He build stuff with a purpose like yeah we, we want the look obviously when it comes to tunes or exhaust we want the sound when it comes to arrow it's the look but it has a purpose it doesn't just look cool like you, get, you guys can get arrow and it slows your car down actually it doesn't help your downforce he'll make it look freaking sick but also help the downforce to where you're getting gains on it. you're not losing anything yeah if it that's does. what i've always respected and loved about the products you make is that it's always purpose built like it's not just oh it looks cool slap it on there which i know i've done i've been guilty of it before in the past with throwing because yeah. it look cool, right? We all have, but the fact that when you do take the time and like you develop your own stuff, and um, guys, all the stuff we're talking about today in the R8 is available. So if you have an R8, some even Huracan stuff, like if you want the Sprint Turbo Kit, it's ready to go. He already did a Huracan already. So once we get to talking about it, if you're interested in it, hit him up at Voodoo Designs and like you can get yourself a kit today. Everything's available. And for the R8, wing, the roll cage, like all the suspension, like all that stuff, exit. center exit, all this stuff is ready for you guys if you guys want it for your car. but. Amazing. Okay, now let's get to the good goods. Is the twin turbo kit again? It's it's all about reliability and yeah. drivability for me. So, you know, have I had two thousand horsepower cars? Yes. Have I done three thousand horsepower cars? Yes. I mean, I think one of my records on what a build we did was like thirty seven hundred wheel. Like it was just stupid. You said no, thirty seven hundred. Yeah, it was an eight hundred cubic base quad turbo. Head. What? Yeah, fifty eight psi. What? on C16 race fuel and 800 cubic inches. Yeah, it's not, I had to have like a wheelie bar in the back of that. Oh yeah, it was wheelie bar, parachute, 33 inch wide, Mickey Thompson. So I don't need that anymore. We've all done it. Um, and they end up they end up in the shop with like a lot of the different bigger turbo kits. Yeah. You end up in the shop more than it's in your garage. So we wanted to make something that was alive. This one, of course, kind of has our own flair. So yeah. rather than running bumperless, because it's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. You want? Friends are like, bumper no, delete. Dude, and, a lot of you guys are in my comments when my old exhaust Mari I tried putting on the Huracan didn't fit. You're like, go bumperless, it'll fit. I'm not doing that. Now look back in the day, I was a fan of it at first. I was, I loved it, but no, not no more. It's, it's gone. This guy always hated it. <laughs> he always hated okay. the look. So, and it's because bumper delete isn't bumper delete. One, you you ruin the rear arrow of the car. And, and second, like we think it might be a flex, but every girl you talk to is like, is your car so broken? True. Like, it's, it's, yeah. that's a hundred percent. We wanted to do our center exit, which incorporates the license plate relocation bracket, yeah. the OEM tip delete grills, and you can still see everything. Yeah. But you're still running the whole. So guys, you see the bracket here, they're like, yeah, down here, this is where the exhaust used to be. It looks OEM the way you created that and filled that in. Like, it looks well, we, literally we OEM. We scanned it with a ferro arm and then recreated it in CAD. Amazing. And laser cut it. So it's Amazing. about as close as it can get. Amazing. But yeah, and then you look underneath, you can see the, all the gold turbos. Yes. The ceramic gold on the Dude, exhaust. Look at that, guys. Straight gold. If you don't want to run the giant wing, you don't have to, but the... the Tile blow off valves are sitting totally visible right there in the through the grills. Wow. Um, you know, low key want to let everybody know it's turboed, but uh, you know, Dude. there's there's ways to hide it. Yeah, there is ways to hide it. It looks amazing. Once again, this thing is golly, it's crazy. So let's talk about. I know we said it earlier. So it takes a thousand crank, but 800 a wheel, right? And then you're pushing how how much boost setting are you pushing on this one? On this one right now, about seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. safe feel it like I drove it and I wasn't even hammering on it because obviously it's not my car and it it pulls it pulls <laughs> you don't need to make more power. you don't you don't and yes can you yes if you want to just put on a boost controller you can run as much as you want the car yeah. this turbo kit can make 1400 wheels yeah but you're, you're opening up a can of worms yeah yeah you know, everything you're, else you're clutches wrong. transmissions <laughs> yeah and you got you gotta start billy building after you break it you gotta build it build it thanks again thanks for taking the time out of your day to, to do this man this is once again, man, you know I respect everything you do and your builds are freaking crazy. Well, we'll get oh uh, we'll get a wing on your car. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get coming. some type of center exit on yes. the car. Yes, Gotta we show are. Show something <laughs> off. We'll design something cool. Yes. I haven't done a 580-2 yet. Oh, you haven't. So I have the center exit Ooh. for the 610. We have a center exit for the for the first gen, second gen, third gen R8s. Okay. Um, on Ryan's car, we're gonna do a, uh, a center exit on a center exit. So we're gonna take the current grill. We're gonna move the tips inside. Okay. Um, okay. It's just something different, but yeah. yeah. So, but I haven't done a five eighty. Okay. Well, I have yeah. arrow plans coming to where he can do his thing on that on the five eighty, and it's it's gonna look dope. But first thing, I, I got it the wing. I, I need that. I've been searching, and when I saw this when I walked in the other day, oh my god, my my heart just like 
it melted. It was like it was like love at first light. You need the front lip too, then, right? Got to balance the arrow. I, I 100% Got to call agree. Peter. I 100% agree. Peter, I, I, I got something to work. <laughs> Peter, come on, Peter. Knock on the door. Let's go. <laughs> once again, once again, guys. If you need any R8 Huracan, I mean anything, Eric's your guy. But kit specifically, if you guys need any for the R8 platform, he has everything ready to go. He did all the hard work. He got a car, broke it down to like bare bones, built it back up, developed everything R and D, like heat protected, right? So everything can handle heat. Yeah. Nothing's gonna freaking burn down and catch on fire. No shade. And you guys are ready to go. No titanium. No titanium. I know this man is no titanium at all. Hates it. Have you seen the one from yesterday? I have not. Oh. Alright, let's check it out before we end this video. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get a kick out of this. No way. Holes. Holes. No way. Holes. Oh my god. This is god. why you don't buy titanium. Oh my god. Yo. This came off a Ventador? SVJ. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we don't run titanium. Well, let me just be clear here. I Damn. Bought, I bought the car with that exhaust. <laughs> I bought the car with that exhaust. <laughs> I didn't no, know. No blame. But now no my, blame. Car, my car is getting all that. I saw that. I did. I was wondering if that was what was. So what are you going with? Are you going with the, the bronze or are you going with the black? black. Going black? So, okay, here's what's going on instead of the, the titanium. Yeah, let's go. It looks so good. Oh, it looks good. I'll need to come back and see this thing and see it shoot some flames in. Drive it. I know it's are you going to let me drive it? It's custom. <laughs> there is no. I put, I put 5,000 miles on that thing in a month and a half. Really? Yeah. My yeah, man. Yeah, he's, My so man. Cossum is officially our durability tester. So <laughs> our durability. After, after <laughs> two, we're gonna, we're gonna give uh, Cossum a chance to drive the R8. Any car and just, built by our shop here, yeah. trust me, they can, they can be beat. Yeah, and that was, uh, that was the fun part about kind of incorporating everything between yeah. Navarro and Voodoo is, is now with our designs, we also have the ability to install on site. Yeah. So, you know, I've trained everybody within the Navarro crew to handle our turbo kits, put them all on. You know, HD tuning comes in house to tune the cars. It works out really sweet. Yeah, man. I'm taking up on your offer. I will come back. Oh, yeah. I will drive yeah. this car. Oh, yeah. If you let me, I will. Right, right. Yeah. I was more nervous driving the twin turbo than I would be driving this thing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's sick. Yeah, Eric, like, it's sick. Gotta... Hey, man, I'm sorry, man. I came on the right day. That's what it was. <laughs> well, like I said, Cosmo is a durability guy. So, there you when, go. like, when you took the car and you're going to drive it at eight tenths, and yeah. I've been driving the car around seven, eight tenths, yeah, you know, yeah. Cosmo, I don't think, understands what that is. He's, he's <laughs> ten tenths all the time, which is good. We need someone like that. So, but uh, durability tester. Uh, be good. Yes, he durability. is. Once again, everyone, hit them up here. You got Voodoo Designs, Navarro Motorsports, anything you need. R8 Huracan platform, it's already been here. It's been tested, it's been built, ready to go. Ship it to you and you guys are good, man. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. I still think I made I made a mistake in the R8, but I didn't make a mistake. I didn't make a mistake? Okay, good. We're, good. we're gonna turbo okay. the Huracan. Excuse me, what?